Look at Zago. Lost in the forests of Segulda. Here we go. Today we're going to Segulda, a town about 30 miles outside of Riga, the capital of Latvia. It's about an hour train ride. Right now it's about 8 a.m. And in typical alien Zach fashion, we barely made it onto this train. Much colder here than it is in Riga. A lot colder. Uh, there's some castles, there's a bobsled track, mm -hmm. and some caves. And that's about all we know. It's really cold. I think we should go try and find some coffee first. Mine's like chocolate with poppy seeds. I'm pretty good. We're walking to the bobsled and we're wearing these masks outside because it helps keep your face warm. Life hack, baby. We're two hours early. So bobsled isn't open until 12. It's 10 o'clock right now. It's a little cat. Oh. Front porch. So you have this nice blue house, nice big plot of land, and then right across the street, you have this old abandoned building with the windows all boarded up. Like and then this, one's lived in, though. this one looks somewhere in between abandoned and boarded up. Yeah. We've been walking for about 30 minutes looking for something to do. And we found this viewing point. Take a look. So we have to walk, I don't know if you can see how downhill this is, but it's covered in ice. This is going to take us a very long time. There's so many people just running down the ice and I'm like, oh, oh geez. Each getting down the hill, just little different techniques. Look at Zach go. He's competing with all the other runners. I'm such a legend. And I go down there and see who makes it there first. So we either go down right in front of us, or we take this big winding loop down. I kind of let's let's do a race, you know. You can take this path, and I'll take the the paved icy path, and we'll see who gets there first. You go with that. All right. Wait, you gotta let me get over. Oh Jesus! Where are we racing to? Just right down there. Yeah, but are you actually racing? Are you? Okay, ready, set, go. Go. <laughs> This will either be really good or really bad. OK. 
Okay, okay. So far, so good. There's like fallen trees to catch me. I can't see Haley, but I'm pretty close. Oh. Good job. <laughs> How far did you run? Just once it was safe. Also, if we would have kept going a little, a little bit more, it looks like there were stairs. So we didn't have to go down the icy path. Those people that you saw running, they lapped us <laughs> like, up and down. Like three times. <laughs> at least three times. We're just like <laughs> shuffling. <laughs> Pretty sure they were laughing at us. Oh, I think, yeah, one of the guys like looked me in the eyes and just let out a giggle. But it's all part of the fun. Oh, geez. Oh. We found the big cave. So I guess the legend is that there was a guy who lived in this cave and would use the water that would come from the bottom of the cave and he would heal people. And so they named the cave Gutman's cave and Gutman means good man and that's the story and then there's like 1955 1965 1965 1961 63 I thought it would be deeper I thought it would have been bigger but still cool the I think the walk to get here was a little more exciting than the cave itself. Okay. Are we trying these? Yeah. We're going to try going back up all these stairs and see if we can avoid that icy road. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, wow. It's just like a looking point. There's another little cave though. Don't want to fall down the stairs. We're good. We're good. Oh boy. Oh, not even worth. There's like nothing in it. So we climbed those stairs and we're walking through the forest towards what we hope is the castle and the cable car back to the other side. But we've been walking a long time. We don't see anyone. There are no signposts. The paths are completely covered in ice. But there are, I guess, kind of paths. Oh, Jesus. Would you say the cave was worth it? Mm, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I agree. I'd give it like a... If you have a lot of time and it's summer and you want to go like walk off your lunch, yeah. then I like go for it, but I don't really think you're missing out by not going. I liked the adventure though, getting there. Well, hopefully we get back. Yeah. We made it back to the cable car station. But look at this. I wonder if people, it looks like people live here. There's a yeah. clothesline out and a car parked there. Yeah. I guess you can drive across or around the like valley to get to the town, but it seems like it'd be very difficult yeah. To live out here as opposed to right across the valley. 
but what do I know? I'm just uh just a lazy American. Not a whole lot. Alright. It's one o'clock. We need to see this castle. We need to go back across at 1.30, eat, get on the bobsled. Look at all of these. I don't know what these are. It's like, almost like it was like a stable or the world's longest shed. It's like park your carriage here. Cremolda Castle. A rehab center? I look at all the plaster and paint chipping off. The window sills. Paint's pulling off the wood. I wonder if people live over there. All right, let's let's see if we can get inside. All right, let's get, try and get back on that cable car. Had <sighs> oh, to run. We stopped for lunch, and I got this kebab. I mean, look how big this is. This whole thing, plus fries and a soda, eight euro. And how does it taste? For eight euro, for this big, it should taste worse. I just got fish and chips. With tartar sauce. We got to the bobsled track. Check this out. Starts all the way up there next to that Ukrainian flag, all the way down, and then keeps going. It's a big boy. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah. We're gonna take this green one. I guess we're gonna lay flat. It's like 20 euros per person, and we're going down on our stomachs. Probably wasn't a good idea to eat lunch no, right yeah. before this, but. Alright, guys, just lay down side by side on this stomach. You don't need to do nothing. Just relax, like on the couch. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Woo. That was fun. That was fun. That was worth 20 euros. <laughs> Drive you back up with the bobsled. Oh man. Oh. oh. This is also a ride. That was amazing. That was really fun. If you were in Riga and came to Segulda just to do those bobsleds, worth it like it was, so worth it it was a little bit more expensive than what we were thinking but like 20 euro i would gladly spend that again yeah so come to segulda and ride the bobsleds yes
10 out of 10. Where we got out of the bobsled, it seemed like there was way more space to, mm -hmm. to keep going. So maybe in summer, they let you go farther, or maybe if you do the more expensive one, you can go farther. Probably. Bulbs. But overall, I had a really fun day. Yeah, I enjoyed it getting lost in the forest and sliding all over some ice um, and definitely the bobsled. It was amazing. I thought that's what you meant by sliding all over some ice. No, I just meant on <laughs> with my feet. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you later somewhere Bye. from somewhere. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.